Welcome to the Trucking Safety Council of BC's Trucking Safety video series, focusing on moving and lifting. This video series will provide practical information on how to safely and effectively lift, carry, push, and pull loads to reduce risk of musculoskeletal injuries, such as back and shoulder problems. Hi, I'm Margot Fraser. I'm a Canadian Certified Professional Ergonomist, and I'll be discussing safe lifting techniques for lifting loads from ground level. This video, Lifting from Ground Level, provides information on how to safely deal with work situations that involve manually lifting from ground level. This includes thinking about the work situation and the load so that you can prepare for and use the best and safest handling methods for the conditions. So always go through the stop, think and act process detailed in the Preparing for Work video. Your first choice to lift loads from ground level should always be to use lifting or moving equipment, such as forklifts and hand trucks. If there is no option but to manually lift, make sure that you use the techniques introduced in the Manual Handling Basics video. The type of lifting strategy selected may depend on your flexibility, the number of lifts that will be done, and your strength. Here are some of the methods that can be used for manual lifts from the ground. First is a squat lift. This lift is good for loads that fit between the knees and where the individual doing the lift has good knee and hip flexibility. This lift may increase the stress in the knees if frequent lifting is required and good form is not maintained. Get as close to the load as possible. Keep the head up, butt out, and tighten the stomach muscles. Make sure that the knees are over the toes and that you have a good grip on the load. It may help to tip the load onto a corner to get a better grip. Use the large muscles of the butt and legs to lift. The second lift is the stoop lift. This lift is also best for loads that fit between the knees and it requires less knee bending. Get as close to the load as possible and then bend the knees but no less than 90 degrees and then hinge forward at the hips to the load. It is extremely important that the normal curvature be maintained, keeping the head up and butt out. Use the butt and leg muscles to start the lift. This lift places more stress on the back than the squat lift, so it is not as good for heavier lifts. The third type of lift is a straight leg lift. In some cases, you can get closer to the load if it's bulky or awkward using a straight leg lift, but make sure that the load is well within your lifting capability. This method requires excellent flexibility of the muscles in the back of your legs, as you must keep the normal curvature of the spine. Stand as close to the load as possible, keep the knees slightly bent, Use good manual handling basics and focus on using the butt muscles to initiate the lift. As you cannot use your leg muscles as effectively in this lift, the loads cannot be as heavy as can be done with a squat lift. For very light loads and where there is something stable to hold on to, the golfer's reach can be used. Stand on one leg holding on to something for balance and hinge forward at the hips, keeping the normal curvature. There is a bit of twisting with this one, so don't use it for anything heavy. You may also be able to use a specialized tool so that you do not have to get right to the ground level. For example, a tire lifting device can be used to lever the tire up so that the full weight of the tire does not have to be taken. Remember to use good manual handling basics. To recap, before you start any manual handling job, stop and make sure you are physically and mentally prepared for the task. Then think and assess the hazards and the load to plan the best method to handle the material. Once you have thought everything through, then you can act to carry out your plan. If something changes or your plan is not going as anticipated, stop and begin the process again. This concludes the video, Lifting from Ground Level, part of the Trucking Safety Moving and Lifting series. If you have any questions or are looking for more information, please contact the Trucking Safety Council of BC. Thank you.